former president. And, and just to say, make clear. I could say this is a classified document. Doesn't make it true. He, you know how Trump well, is. He, we don't know. We don't know if it's the, if, but if what we if, can if, even assume. Okay, so really fast, those that's Newsmax. Newsmax trying every day to prove to right wingers and to Trump that they love him more than Fox News does. And their defense of him is he plausibly just lies about classified documents constantly. You know how Trump is, she says. You know how he is, he lies all the time. That is what his defender in the media is saying. And I hope, I dearly hope that for every one of you, that that seems weird. You have politicians that you respect, that you support. Can you imagine, like I, I liked Bernie Sanders, I thought he was great. Can you imagine if I were just routinely like, you know Bernie, he lies constantly. What, do you, what the hell are you talking about? Why do you support him if you, you know how he is? He's a goddamn liar, he's a con man, he's a grifter. So you know, cut him some slack. No, no, more more oversight, I think, is merited. If you believe that he's this massive liar, I've never seen anything like that from a person that purportedly supports another person, yes. John, look, okay, I'm no astrologer and I'm about to lose all of my credibility with this comment, but Trump is just a Gemini, right? He just being a true Gemini. He's just, you know, exaggerating and hyperbolizing and sensationalizing and lying because, you know, it's just a better story. That's just what he does, mm-hmm. obviously, John. I'm kidding. I am kidding. But, <laughs> but. I don't know. Is that actually how Gemini's are thought of? I did not know that. I think it's part of it, yeah. So okay. I don't know. No offense to Gemini's out there. I'm just playing. But yeah, but it is kind of interesting because that is how we think about him. That's how we think about him, I should say. It's interesting that they also think of him that same way. And it's like what you were saying, it should be very concerning that that is a character trait that you just accept about this person who you support politically, not just politically, but in the highest office really in the world. It should be a problem, it is a problem and it's not an excuse, not the way that they're trying to play it like it is. Not not at all, but as I said, yeah. I, I, I do not believe that I was overselling this. It gets more embarrassing because there's a follow up uh, question from Fox News. Asked about his use of the word plans during the meeting, Trump insisted he was referring to quote, building plans and plans for golf courses strewn about his desk. Did I use the word plans? What I was referring to is magazines, newspapers, plans of buildings. I had plans of buildings, you know, building plans. I had plans of a golf course. Mm-hmm. Are, are, are you, what game are we playing? I, I know I keep saying that, but what game are we playing at this point? <laughs> the tape is him saying, look at this, this is the Iran thing. The military gave it to me. Look at Millie's cooked, Millie's goose is cooked thanks to this. Delightful condo plan. What are you talking about? I I often ask MAGA people in the comments to write in, but I am begging you to write in now. I want you to say that you buy that, that what he was holding up was building plans. I want you to say with a spray, uh, with a straight chat face that you believe that excuse. That is, look, in politics, you get condescended to constantly. But that is the most cynical, condescending, embarrassing defense that I have literally ever seen a politician come up with in my life. That he was talking about plans for a golf course. Any final thoughts, Yaz? The man Dubai. has plans. For once in his entire political career, the man has plans and he wants you to know that he has plans, John. That's it. Mm-hmm. Those it's are my infrastructure final. week, oh. baby. I got plans on plans on plans. He's got plans. <sighs> Good. Noted. Noted. We'll keep by that in way, mind going into the 2024 20, election. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, in case some of you think, okay, this is all laughable, but. This could be convincing to a jury. I want to reassure you that this is not going to be convincing to a jury. But much more importantly than that, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant because him having that plan or not actually weirdly, and this bothered me before, has nothing to do with the charges against him. I just want to reassure to you, the Iran memo, 
That's not among any of the records that are involved in the actual indictments that he's facing. So they're gonna use that tape to get to his state of mind, his knowledge about the classification process. Their case is not relying on that having been an Iran invasion plan rather than like, like the layout of a cabana. That actually doesn't matter at all. And also, if it's not already clear, Jack Smith was not going to use that tape and submit it into evidence, having not talked to anyone else that was in the room, who I am sure, under pain of potentially going to jail, were very clear that he was not holding up blueprints, he was holding up a classified document. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.